made a little video of the start of work, which was vlogging. And we use nothing but WordPress for all of our blogs, period. Um, all of the WordPress um, platforms we use on our domains are on different niche products, period. I know that uh, very often people look at my latest AdSense earnings screenshot, um, which you can see at the top of my blog, on the top right hand side, period. And they always wonder how I'm making that kind of money blogging, comma, because they can well understand that Zulip.com isn't making that kind of money, period. As a matter of fact, Zulip.com, well, now it makes about $15 or $20 a day um, because I have the odd weird article getting traffic. Period. I've got some person looking at me like I'm a freak out here. And I guess they would be exactly wrong. Period. But anyway, um, back to blogging. Comma. All of my blogs are on niche subjects. Comma. For instance, I just started one on farm equipment, period. All of these blogs start off the same, period. I do some keyword research on the least competitive but high traffic keywords, period. If you understand internet marketing and internet traffic, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, comma. And if you are completely new to the game, it basically means I find out which keywords are being searched for a lot, comma, but at the same time don't have many people putting up websites and pages on these keywords, period. It's so competitive now on the internet that there really isn't too many extremely niche subjects that you can talk about. Period. The truth is, comma, that no matter how competitive your subject matter is on your blog, comma, you can succeed by simply writing, comma, writing, comma, writing, comma, and writing until you're blue in the face, comma, or you can just talk until you're blue in the face, period. Okay, so that's enough of this post. I'm going to turn this off now. Hey, Houston. Say hello, buddy. Houston. Say goodbye. And uh, I'll continue this on using text for up to five minutes. Christmas is coming. And this is December 11th, I believe. Period. Okay, we'll see you on the blog. So now, comma, I am near the end of this post, and I'll turn this camera on one more time, and we can do our finish. So hello out there, fellow bloggers, period. This has been fun and strange all at the same time, period. Um, there's not really much to say, comma, because Let's face it, comma, you have got the point, period. We can blog a lot faster, comma, 
and get a lot more work done in our daily, comma, weekly, comma, and monthly lives, period. I do believe that if you want to succeed in blogging, you need to be thinking in terms of volume, period. There are many different theories on how to get high traffic on your blog, comma. But I truly believe the most effective way is to have volume, period. A great example of a guy who understands this is Steve Pavlina, comma. And you can see his blog at stevepavlina.com, period. He has always been sort of the master, I would say, of blogging with great volume, period. His uh, blog post that's about making money blogging is over 7,000 words, period. I know that Steve was involved with dictation equipment such as I am using right now, comma, but he types very, very fast, so he actually went back to typing, period. For me, it's not really an option because I can't type as fast as Steve can, period. I have, excuse me, that will be edited. I notice on any of the blogs that I work on, comma, mine or anybody else's, because I do work for others, as favors, period. I don't get paid to work on my friend's blogs, period. I have noticed that the blog posts that have over 1,500 to approximately 2,000, comma, 3,000, comma, 5,000, comma, words succeed much more than the short little throwaway posts, period. Truthfully, comma, I would have to say that I never saw any series results on any blog until there was at least one longer post upwards and over of 2,500 words. The search engines seem to respond to having a good chunk of content that size going up onto your domain, period. They can see that it's purely 100% original, comma, which I have talked about many times before here on Zoom, comma, and that there is no other piece of content on the internet that has this exact signature to it, period. Basically when you take say five, six words and you put quotes around it, comma, you won't find any results on the internet, on Google, comma, Yahoo, comma, or MSN, comma, just like it. That is something else that experienced bloggers will understand, obviously, period. Newcomers will scratch their head, perhaps, period. New paragraph. <laughs>